Hey, it's Clay, welcome to another video. Welcome back to my basement. Nora and I would like to welcome you to a new video series I'm gonna put on. I, winter time's come around. It's gotten too cold to, to be outside anymore, work on my outdoor hobbies. So for this winter, I kinda wanted to do a deep dive and um, renew some of my love and interest for pedals. I've been doing a lot with building amps in the last couple years, and uh, but wanted to go back to my first love, which was pedals, and specifically fuzz pedals. And what I wanna do in this series is I'm gonna do a deep dive into the Baz Fuss. Nora, can you say it? Baz mm. Fuss. Nice. So the Baz Fuss is a circuit that I came across very early on in my pedal building career, and it's extremely simple. As far as I can tell, it's almost as rudimentary as you can possibly get. Uh, it has a single transistor. It's got a couple of components to feed that transistor, a volume control, and a kind of a basic clipping feedback loop with a diode. And um, the Homewrecker site that I was looking at actually does a really nice job of breaking down a lot of it, but I want to do a little bit more of a deeper analysis in figuring out what exactly each of the components do, and, and if we vary the resistance or the capacitance in different areas, how does that change the sound? And, and ultimately, I'd really like to try and come up with a fuzz pedal that is more usable and a little bit more musical, maybe. Um, gives it a little more versatility. So, and also I wanna kinda do a little bit of a exploration of the why underneath the what. So I wanna know, you know, with transistors, you know, when you feed it this amount of voltage, how does it respond? Or when you put this in its place, how does it respond? Or what is each of the components doing? So we'll look at the schematic and we'll make a lot of tinkering and modifications to it. And so this is gonna be a little bit of a dive into breadboarding. And I'm gonna use this guy right here to try and um, make it easier for me to experiment with different components at different places in the circuit. And then hopefully once I kind of troubleshoot my way and prototype it through to a little more of an advanced stage, then I'll go through the manufacturing process of putting that into a box. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This will be part one. We're gonna take a look at the circuit and kind of start our deep dive. So hope you guys enjoy this. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> 